Hey everyone and welcome back to part 2 of my airbrush unboxing. Uh, today I received a new package which includes all this which is a paint cleaner and uh, some chipping fluid. So what colors do I have? I have Armor Brown which is a camouflage for German tanks, um, German Grey, I have Camouflage light green, burnt amber. No idea for what the purpose of that is. Um, I have no idea what parts I can paint with that. Some steel, uh, German green, and again, no idea what parts are supposed to go in this color or what this color this color is used for. Um, dark yellow, which is for a uh, Desert vehicles, um, mud brown. I think I'm not going to use this a lot either. Uh, armor green, which is also for the uh, the camouflage color for Germans, and also a uh, light rust. Um, these rust and steel I'll use together with this chipping fluid. So Vallejo chipping medium. Uh, water based uh, so you apply first apply a layer of or, of steel or rust depends on what you want um, and then you apply some chipping medium let it dry and then apply the next coat of paint for example German grey then go with a wet wet uh, something wet over the paint and the paint will come off a bit and it will look like the paint came off in real life and the Steel underneath has rusted. So I'll try this technique out. And then the last thing is just some airbrush cleaning fluid from Vallejo. So I'm going to test out test these paints out with my airbrush. So I tested it with some um, what the color burnt umber. Uh, this no the other one. Um, yeah, mythical bird umber, and this is the results. Just tried some things, uh, very thin lines, some great surfaces, and then, then I cleaned it for the next uh, color. Uh, now I'm going to show you when I test it with armor green. So the first thing you want to do is just shake the ball so that it's nice and. Uh, this Vallejo Mole Air paint uh, doesn't need to be diluted, but I found out it was quite thick. So if you want, uh, you can use this uh, Vallejo special thinner to thin it even further. So now I'm going to pour some paint into the paint cup. This airbrush doesn't need. You don't need to have a, a paint cup on. Because there is a lot of space there, so if you don't want to use a lot of paint, like I do right now, then you should be fine with this little, I think it's 132, 132th of an inch of an uh, ounce, uh, like that. Then I'm going to start spraying. So, put the compressor on. It's um, let's see, one bar, which is 15 psi, and then let's try. We have a very fine line. If you want a bigger surface, just. Like that. So that's the color, which is a uh, camouflage green. And I think we're going to try some dots. Just start with a small dot, a little bit bigger. Uh, that one didn't work out.
So, so now let's try some uh, uh, thin line. It's not not very good. That's better. This one is better. Now a very thick line. Let's try to draw something. For example, let's first try my name. There, that letter failed. Let's try again. That failed too. One's kind of good. That one's better. Now the A. And the M. Look at that! quite good for my first time I think. Um, now let's try to draw a tank. First, have all the tracks. So, the tracks. And now let's spray and fill it in a little bit. Like that. Now it's the whole hey look at that now we're through it and uh, again hey I think that's pretty good um, let's try some wheels So I'm going to try all the some cars. Um, I hope I can use this airbrush again. Just try to well, going to try wanting more. I'm going to try to fade it in with this color. So start with oh, I take my paint. Yeah, my paint cup is empty. I'm out of paint, so let's. I hope I can see you soon when I'm nicely doing this airbrush. I'm going to use this thing, I think, on my flag 8.8, .8. not on my uh, group brother, um, because I already painted it. Um, I think I'm going to make a video too with this this chipping medium, and I, maybe in the future I will make a body with this airbrush. So. See you soon. Goodbye.